picked up this really expensive back scratcher earlier at the store. It was a bit on the pricey side, but it's really well made. And, I mean, it gets the job done, I'm not going to lie. What is going on, everyone? Hope you're all doing well. Apologies to start off if you hear any beeping going on. It literally just stopped. There's some guy with a bobcat out there moving around leaves or something. I don't know. T totally acceptable at 9.30 a.m. on a Thursday. I'm, I'm kidding. Obviously, that is a normal time to be working and doing things. Uh, but I digress. It may mess up the audio for this video, so there it is. Today, we've got some leaked benchmarks for the RTX 4080 16 gigabyte spotted out there in the wild on 3D Mark, as well as a couple of games as well. So we'll be taking a look at those leaks and comparing them up against the current available numbers for RTX 30 series cards. And uh, we can get a kind of an idea of where the RTX 4080 16 gigabyte card is going to land. And you could also probably make some assumptions based on those numbers and CUDA core counts where the numbers would land for 4090 and 12 gigabyte RTX 4080. So we'll get into all of that. Also, we've got the system requirements for the Dead Space remake, which is coming out in January. Can your system run it? We'll find out in just a moment. But first, today's video is brought to you by SuperCDK.com, where you could save money on games for all of your favorite platforms, as well as software like Windows 10 Pro licenses for just $22. And then you can unlock the prestigious Dark Mode for Windows 10, which I honestly could not live without. It is blinding without the dark mode you guys needed in your life. And now you can also save an additional 25% off at checkout by clicking buy now on any software products over there. Just go ahead and add it into your cart and put in my code JP25 at checkout and apply and that'll bring our price from $22.44 all the way down to $16.83, a savings of over $5. And I'll walk you through how to get your key and install it on Windows 10, go ahead and click Submit Order and complete your checkout from there. For me, that's going to be with PayPal, and then click on Pay Now. After completing the checkout, it'll bring you to your purchased order page, and it will update in a matter of seconds, or just go ahead and hit F5. Go ahead and do that one time. It came through literally immediately. I got the payment email that it had gone through and the delivery of the product exactly at the same time. Once you're done with that, go ahead and click on view keys and codes and we'll get our code right here that we can go ahead and copy and paste in on Windows 10 by hitting the start button and typing the word activate. When you see that activation settings or see if Windows is activated, go ahead and click on that and it'll bring up this right here and click on change your product key or unlock Windows 10 as I already have Windows 10. I obviously don't need to put in a new key, but just paste it in and then go ahead and click next and you are all done and set. For more information on supercdk.com as well as the coupon code, be sure to check out the links down in the description below. First up though, leaked NVIDIA benchmarks for the RTX 4080 16GB card, which to my knowledge are not even being sampled yet, but I guess someone over on the Chip Hell forums by the name of Panzerlide has gotten his hands on an RTX 4080 16GB and start, decided to uh, put some benchmarks up over on the Chip Hell forums, and they could very well be legit. Um, they seem to be, as far as their numbers are concerned, um, to, you know, to what we would expect compared to like the, like the likes of the 3080, 3090 Ti, and the, the scores on things like Port Royal. So he did a few tests. One was on uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which is very hard to read. It's in, all in like Chinese, I guess. Um, but it looks like he was testing in 4K, got an average of 128 frames. I don't really have much of a reference for that. Um, mostly going to be relying on the numbers from Port Royal here. Um, but he also ran uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 in DLSS at 115 average FPS. And then without DLSS, getting an average of 87 frames per second, which according to John Papadopoulos over on DSOG, he said recently he had been testing Red Dead Redemption 2, and in native 4K, he was getting an average of 61 FPS on the RTX 3080 without DLSS. And without DLSS, the RTX 4080 16GB in that test was getting 87 frames per second. So according to him, we're basically looking at a 42% performance boost. But it's a little hard to determine the exact settings used. And Red Dead Redemption 2 has a ton of settings. And they're also like notorious for like resetting themselves based on what your hardware is and all of that kind of stuff. It's a very frustrating game to include in benchmarks and reviews. So I would take those numbers sort of with a grain of salt. Something like Port Royal, though, is a little is a lot more controlled. So according to the person on Chip Hell, with the screenshot here, it shows on the 30 on the uh, sorry, the 4080 that he got a score of 17,000. 
607, which is pretty damn good. Definitely better than a 3090 Ti. And with these coming out for 1200, I guess you can kind of see why they were pricing them uh, as such. So looking at this over on overclock3d.net, uh, back in their review for the 3090 Ti, <clears throat> they posted some numbers for their Port Royal runs where they got a score of 14,859 on the 3090 Ti and the RTX 3080 was getting 11,290. So I decided to punch those into a percentage increase calculator and it looks like going from the 3090 Ti at 14,859 to 17,607 on the 4080, we see a roughly 18.5% performance increase. Again, that's the 3090 Ti, so we're expected to not see as huge an uplift in performance. This card is replacing the 3080, and that got a score of 11,290. So that's a almost 56% increase in performance in just in Port Royal, which has ray tracing and stuff, but uh, pretty darn good uplift. I mean, we're not even talking about things with like DLSS 3 there, which could obviously help improve that performance even more once, you know, more benchmarks and more games uh, sort of come out with it. And if it works, you know, as, as NVIDIA is advertising, but 56% for uplift in performance from 3080 to 4080. That's pretty good. I think I'd be happy with that if I was in the market to pick up a card. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. All the sources and everything will be linked um, with these numbers and stuff from Overclock 3D if you want to compare and kind of figure out maybe for yourself where those numbers might go for like a 4090. But I'm not going to get too much into that because of embargoes, NDAs, things like that. And I don't want to touch that because I could have my own opinions on the numbers. I'm just presenting the facts here. These are the numbers that are out there in the wild on the Internet. So there it is. Do with it what you will. It's out there. I didn't put it out there, but it's out there now. So we can discuss it a little bit, but I just can't offer much of an opinion on it. Legally speaking, probably not the best idea to do so. So next up, we're going to get into Dead Space, which uh, I've been talking about this remake for a while. Also, Callisto Protocol, which is coming out later this year, very similar from the original makers of Dead Space. It's listed over on Steam now, though, coming out January 27th. So about three months from now, it is listed for $60.00. The Deluxe Edition is 70 which is a bit pricey. Oddly, no one's getting really upset about um, the remake price on Dead Space when with Last of Us, everyone was really, really upset with that game being $70. And these games aren't that... that I think Dead Space is a little bit older than, than Last of Us, but not by much. They were both on the same console generation. Dead Space came out for the Xbox 360, and Last of Us originally came out for uh, the PlayStation 3. So they're both around the same era. And this is launching for 60 bucks or 70 for the Deluxe Edition. So still pretty pricey. But they have done, it looks like a lot of work here visually uh, with Dead Space. Maybe it's just because it's a bigger uplift. Maybe it's because it's not as well a known game as Last of Us. Even though it's very well known. It's maybe not as well known as Last of Us. But I'm curious what you guys think as far as... You know, maybe why we're not seeing people getting as upset about Dead Space's pricing versus Last of Us. It could, like I said, it could just be because Last of Us is a much more high profile Sony exclusive. So maybe people expected it to be cheaper or even available with PlayStation Plus free of charge. But we have the system requirements for Dead Space, the remake, as I said, coming out in January. The minimum requirements are saying Windows 10 64 bit. Ryzen 5 2600X or a i5-8600, 16 gigabytes of memory. For the graphics, an RX 5700 or a GTX 1070. It is going to be DX12 and it will need 50 gigabytes of available space. The recommended says a 5600X or 11600K. Again, 16 gigabytes of system memory. And for the GPU, a 6700 XT or an RTX 2070. So fairly reasonable. And again, DX12, 50 gigabytes of space. Um, so yeah, it doesn't look like there'll be an HD texture pack or anything. Otherwise, usually this would be bigger for the recommended requirements, but you never know. And I've talked about this a lot in the past. Typically recommended requirements are targeting like 1080p high 60 frames per second. So I'm sure you're going to need a more powerful card, uh, to power, you know, if the thing comes up with like ray tracing and all that kind of stuff and all those other nice little bells and whistles, uh, on the Dead Space remake, I'm sure it's going to require a much heftier card based on uh, the visuals of the game. It recently got a official gameplay trailer. It's up until now, we've seen some snippets, some little things here and there, but not a whole lot of gameplay. But recently it got a, a pretty big reveal, like a two to three minute trailer. And I believe there was also some just straight up like gameplay videos also put out by uh, the developers at Motive for EA uh, for the Dead Space remake. And it is looking pretty darn good. It looks like Dead Space. It just looks like Dead Space, but better. So I'm looking forward to it. And hopefully the team over at Motive does a good job with it and, uh, you know, honors the tradition and the memories that I have for 
the Dead Space games, the original, just fantastic. One of the best games I've ever played. One of the scariest games I ever played. I'm sure there's scarier games out there. I don't play a lot of horror games. I don't tend to get into horror games very much, especially the ones where you're just kind of like lurking around and there's like a thing chasing you. I'm not really into those. I find them a little boring, and honestly, they're a little too scary for me sometimes. Um, but Dead Space, just I just thought it was like the perfect combination of scares to... But also you feel powerful, especially towards the end of the game. Like you're no like by the end of the game, especially if you do like a second playthrough, you're no longer scared of any of these creatures like jumping out and getting you because you just feel like an OP beast and you're just wanting to cut some limbs off. That's how Dead Space makes you feel. At the beginning, you're like a little girl, scared shitless, in your little in your little your little dress, your little your little little girl in a little dress, all scared. By the end of the game, you're fucking Superman cutting limbs off with your eyeballs. It's great. Fucking love Dead Space 1 and 2. Dead Space 3 can suck my white ass. Dead Space 1 and 2, fantastic. Love it. Highly recommend 10 out of 10. Still very good today. You don't really need this remake to enjoy Dead Space 1. Um, if you haven't played it, go play it or wait for the remake. We only got a few months to go, but I think the original still holds up very well today, even though it's like, I don't know, like 13 years old at this point or something, maybe 14 years old. So there it is. Hope you guys all have a fantastic day. I'm going to get out of here and go do a lot more RTX 4090 testing, which I will be doing all through the weekend because uh, there's just so many more things to test. Just, the games just keep coming, just piling up more games to test. So I'm going to go ahead and do all that, and I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Peace.